All right, guys. All right. All right, guys. Good morning. So, um, it's it's actually not even uh, four thirty a.m. I think I have like about like three hours before you know the race starts. Yeah, um, I always like to wake up like super early because um, I just really have a lot of things that I need to do, you know, before the race. Yeah, for example, like, you know, you know drink my coffee, I'm gonna eat my bagel, and um, also I need to go to the bathroom and doing some, some sort of stretching and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, but anyway, um, yeah, um, this is uh, the moment that we've been waiting for. And um, if I be honest with you guys, um, I actually really feel good. Um, I think I really did pretty much everything to prepare for this race. I'm like physically ready, mentally ready for this race. And um, yeah, I would say I'm just ready to, to run this race. <coughs> That's me. The temp today actually a little bit colder than I like it's like 44 degrees right now so yeah um, for me this is uh, it's a little bit colder actually temp that I like but um, the good thing is um, it's actually gonna get a little warmer you know towards the end so yeah I would say yeah, it's gonna go up to 51 at least or 51 to 56 you know when I'm like like around the time that I'm actually finishing so yeah I would say that's uh, that's pretty good so yeah um I was it right now it's like yeah so about 4 30 a.m. so yeah I'm just gonna try to finish things up here um, I drink my coffee and eat my bagel and um, yeah like I said um, I've done pretty much everything for this race and I'm just I'm just ready for this race so yeah um, we'll see how this race goes today Plenty of time here.
Hands up. Really feel the blister on my right toe. Ah, last mile was terrible. Really had to push the last mile. So the race is finally over and actually here's my official time. It's right there. Three hours in 34 seconds. So yeah, um, I came 35 seconds short of achieving my goal. But here's one thing that I want to tell you guys, um, you would not believe it. I'm not saying that this is the reason why I did not achieve my goal, but um, this is just, you know, my analysis, you know, based on what happened during the race. So, um, yeah, um, like I said, um, coming to Columbus Marathon, I really, I really felt like really good. Um, I woke up really early and uh, did pretty much everything, like my morning routine, like, you know, drink my coffee, um, eat my breakfast, um, went to the bathroom, and uh, all of that kind of stuff. And then we actually got to the starting area super early. Um, we had like about an hour to spare. So that's really how much time we, we had, like, you know, it was, like me, like yeah, there was no rush at all. So um, I was able to do pretty much everything there. Like um, I was able to do my warm up properly, like my strides, my stretching, and I actually went to the bathroom there again one more time. Uh, I, you know, like didn't really have any problem like before the race, like preparation wise. And um, I actually just was standing there for like 10 minutes and it was a little bit cold because it was in the 40s, just waiting for the race to start. And then the gun went off and everybody's just trying to get their like position. And then um, the first like mile, um, when I checked my watch, um, <coughs> I was just like, I think this, I think my watch is a little bit off, like, I said like um, I think I'm I'm running quicker than my watch is telling me. So um, I just tried to readjust and all that kind of stuff. And then I remember actually from people that run Chicago Marathon, they were saying about like the GPS issue because of the buildings in Chicago. It's like you're gonna have problem like that from from the start. And then I I remember that right away. And the uh, Columbus setting is pretty much the same. It's like in downtown Columbus, so like like lots of tall buildings. So so yeah, there's no need to, to worry about that. Just try to relax and just try to run, you know, efficient and don't do any silly things at all right now. And then yeah, um, at around, I would say mile three, um, that's where like the GPS starts to work a little bit more efficient. Hit the first 5K inside my goal pace and then hit the 10k pretty much the same like hit my uh my, my goal pace and then uh be more specific um i think i hit the halfway point the official halfway time is um 128.54 <laughs> and yeah i was just to be honest with you guys i was just feeling really good and then um like mile 14 was feeling good and then like around mile 15 that's where things starting 
to get a little bit interesting, um, my stomach started to kind of bother me a little bit. And then I was just like, I, I can't believe that this is really happening. So I um, tried to think really quick, um, is this from the food that I eat before the race? Or I was just trying to kind of like think really quick. I, I said like, no, it's not from the food because I eat pretty much the same, like my breakfast before the marathon and I use the same gels like pretty much like, like just every time I run a marathon, it's all the same. So that I won't have any issues at all. And I went to the bathroom twice before I left the house and I even used the bathroom there again one more time, you know, at the starting area. So it's not from like the food that I ate and stuff like that. And then I just realized, um, I said, uh, this could be actually from the drink that they're handing out in the course. <laughs> they were actually handing out like Gatorade lemon lime flavor. And um, actually for me, that's uh, the taste of lemon lime for me is um, it's a little bit too strong for me. Um, it's almost kind of sour and I haven't had that you know flavor for a very long time because I just don't like the, the, the taste of it. And um, I came to a conclusion, I said like it's probably from the drink that they're handing out because I was like just chugging like all of this like Gatorade from you know from like almost every age station because I know that the the electrolyte is very very important you know for for the race like for for the marathon that's really like one of my top priorities you know when I run a marathon now like I really have to be on the top of that because it is super important so I had to make a quick decision like what should I do um should I just hold this and try to feel it and see if it goes away or should I just go and you know just be done with it that was only mile 15 when I started to feel it and I still have 11 miles to go so I said now um, this is just gonna ruin my race like I just have to to go and so that I would be feeling more comfortable because it's still a long way for me to go. So yeah, um, I saw Porta Party like around mile 15. Um, I said like, I just need to go. So went to the bathroom and then I told myself, don't panic, just do what I have to do. And then just try to get out as quickly as possible. Um, I came out of the bathroom. There's a little bit of like, uh, you know, flow of, Add adrenaline there because I know that I lose some time in there and um, that's one thing that like I said like from the start of the race I was trying to like put something a little bit in the bank there because um, that was my plan nothing it's not like a lot like I was not trying to run super fast I was just trying to put a little bit like few seconds here a couple seconds there because um, I don't really want to you know push like at the end of the marathon i just want to run this as steady as possible that's really like my goal because uh pushing at the end of the marathon is just it's just painful so i decided to like keep the race steady i will just uh i'll give you guys the the splits right here uh just so that you guys have an idea um what what i mean so so my first mile right here, right there, 6.56. So second mile, 6.41, third, 6.38, fourth, 6.38, fifth, 6.38, sixth, 6.37, seventh, 6.52, eighth, 6.47, ninth, 6.45, 10.6.50, 11.646, 12.656, 13, 6.43, 14, 6.48, and 15, 6.53. So, just to, so that you guys will have a little bit of idea, like the range of the pace that I was running from mile one to mile 15, my fastest is 6.37, and then my slowest is uh, 6.53. So within that kind of range. And then here's mile 16. I call this the bathroom mile right there is 
36. So, if I just put this into perspective, um, my overall time, my finish time is 3 hours and 34 seconds. At mile 16, like I said, from mile 1 to 15, like I was running 637 to 653, even if I run 7 minutes flat here, it's still like a 36 seconds right there. The, the, the second <coughs> part of it. So mile 17, back to 640 right there. So 640, 618, 652, 19, 702, 20, 654, 21, 654, 22, 650, 23, 656, 24, 654, 25, 705, 26, 652. Yeah, so, so from mile 17 to 26, it was, uh, my slowest mile was 705. So, this mile, like the 16th mile, is the 736. So, this is just really like the slowest mile from mile 1 to 26 and I did not slow down slower than this anymore so that's what I'm saying like um, it's uh, for me it's uh, that's I was just kind of like thinking that a lot after the race because I said like yeah um, if this thing did not happen I think maybe I would really achieve my goal you know of breaking three hours yeah I'm this is um, I'm not saying that this is the reason why I didn't hit my goal everything you know like could happen in the marathon um, but I'm just like trying to think of this like yeah if uh, I was really having a good run I would say it was the first time that I felt so good running that like the whole the pretty much the whole race um, like until like mile 20 because um, I did not really want to do that like I said um, I wanted to have a steady race but it's because I lose <coughs> the time when I went to the bathroom so I had to like push the pace like at mile 20 and yeah that's the part where I became a little bit more uncomfortable because yeah I need to close the deficit you know to get close to my to my goal so yeah um, this is not an excuse, it's not a reason why I didn't hit my goal, it's just my analysis. And then I just want to tell you guys what you know happened during the race so that you would guys have an idea. But yeah, like uh, I'm super happy with the overall result of the race and you know it's like I said I feel really really good for the most part of the race. And uh, it's yeah it's a full 4 minute PR for me. And then, of course, another ticket to Boston Marathon if, you know, if I, I decide to, to run, like, Boston Marathon in 2024. So, um, I just really want to thank you guys so much for uh, following along this journey. Uh, since, you know, the episode one of this uh, sub three hour challenge and for the support and, um, uh, kind words and motivation guys it really helped me a lot thank you guys so much I really appreciate you all and um, I also just want to mention Matt uh, uh, yeah it was nice meeting you Matt and uh, thank you so much for letting me borrow your phone because I was really cold and I, I just I just a little bit confused where to I couldn't find my wife like at, at the meeting spot I really appreciate for for letting me borrow that to, to call my wife. Also, uh, congratulations to you as well. So, yeah, um, I think this is all for today, guys. Thank you again so much for being here today, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.